This is a simple meme that you would find on the internet. <laughs> and who voted for it? <laughs> who voted for it? <laughs> no, he doesn't. He doesn't want anyone to vote. Bring Trump back. Bring Trump back. Amen. I can tell you this this didn't happen under President Trump. And I know there's a lot of people on the left that want to try to blame President Trump. He wanted out of Afghanistan real bad. He was real frustrated not being able to get out. But he didn't pull out because he knew this would happen. In fact, we all did. I called it on this program. My 12-year-old son knew about it. And so um, I've got Americans there that are stuck. To me, that's a hostage situation. But, Joe, I appreciate yeah. you working to get them out. I really do. Yeah. And I wish you with all due, luck in the with world respect, Thank you for uh, with due respect, Grant, I mean, like, veterans, you know, uh, being one, right, and our friends are over there. Um, right. We followed this closely from multiple administrations, and we know the uh, Trump's I'm, administration's efforts here were fairly weak, yeah. that they were trying to limit the number of people that would get out. And Joe, so there was coordination problems. Joe, I'm going to cut time. you. I, I'm, already, I'm already weak. I'm no, already low on time, Joe. Joe, so I'm, cut him off, please. please. Cut him off now. Cut him off now. You're not going to blame this on President Trump on my show. That's not happening. Now, I appreciate the work that you're doing. God bless you for being a veteran. God bless you for trying to get Americans out. But don't come on this program and take the talking points of the left and blame President Trump. That's not helping anybody. The Biden administration screwed this up from the very start. You know it. I know it. The country knows it. And to call them not hostages, I don't know how you don't call them hostages. They're stuck in Afghanistan with a country overrun with terrorists that are willing to kill them all. I'm mad about that, man. I really am. All right. We're going to slow it down because we've got a real hero coming up. Care people. Overhead shot, please. You know what this is? This is ivermectin for humans that won a Nobel Prize as an antiviral. And this is inhalable, or these are the tablet steroids. So let me show you. I was going to do this anyways earlier. See this? See this, Fauci? You see this, Bill Gates? I'm going to kill those prions, you bastard murderers. You're going to hit me with a bioweapon, you monster. You want to suppress me? You want to kill me, you son of a bitch? You goddamn demon? You think I'm easy to kill? Think I'm going to roll over to your crap? No. And Joe Rogan kicked your murdering ass, too. You'd love to bury him, too, you little monster maggot. He's in this National Geographic piece about... Oh, I don't usually deal with my enemies right away. I get them later. Yeah, you creep up on with a poison injection, dressed up in a lab coat, you little Joseph Mingala, Nuremberg code violating monster. You damn monster. See our little cancer proteins like that. Nobel Prize winning for humans. 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 What, 2005? Nobel Prize winning for humans. Oh, Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan, he just went and to drink the horse pace. He's stupid. I bet he got it from Alex Jones. They're both so dumb. They're both going to be dead. You left this taking all the shots and dying are the dumbasses. He's the one that headlines with Dave Chappelle, not you. You're stupid. And I sure wish you'd wake up. But you sit there calling me stupid, an independent media person that built the biggest independent media operation in the world that changed the whole paradigm with my badass listeners. And you sit around and laugh at us. Medical doctors gave that to me. It is incredible. It helped my family. It helped me. It helped everybody. And it's approved for humans for all sorts of viral stuff. But that murderer Fauci doesn't want you to know because he wants the planet for himself and he wants you dead. Well, guess what, Fauci? We ain't rolling over and dying so easily, you little murderer. This is a simple meme that you would find on the Internet, but this meme is very real. The Green New Deal surprise is serves China and China only. You can go ahead and put number one up. So today, talking about the Green New Deal and the all-out war on the men and women. It's when you discriminate, you we're going to fuck your restaurant up. You you just leave. Leave. Oh, I God. see you. Just leave, sir. Just leave. You go fuck it. You want to do no, something? No, I don't want to do anything. Don't get on my Don't get on my seat. I don't want to do anything. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Yeah, that's your fault. Yeah, you got a fault. Get out.
be a beta. Just never, ever do it. It is death. Never, ever, ever do it. Okay? Just wipe that out of your mind. It is Nothing good comes from that. Ever. Okay? The only thing good is if you're like in jail and you're about to get shot. You're like, okay, okay, you know? Other than that, if you're in a free society, don't do it. It's just, it's just, it just doesn't happen. It cannot happen. Okay? Now, going from there, and by the way, the sooner you accept this, the easier your life gets. You're like, oh, life is actually awesome when you accept it. As long as you don't accept it, and you're like, I just want someone to like me for the real beta me, your life's gonna be freaking miserable. People around you will be miserable, and you will be miserable. So just get over it. Now, okay, it doesn't mean to walk around paranoid. An alpha male is comfortable with themselves. Now, going from there, what you have, okay, the, the number one trait of an alpha is, their, is self-comfort. So just be comfortable with yourself. Stop being uncomfortable with yourself and hiding. You know what a cockatoo is? A cockatoo is like, And that, that's what everyone's become. Little cockatoos staring at the screen. <laughs> facts and figures, facts and figures. Oh, Dr. Fauci, Dr. Fauci. <laughs> trust the science, trust the science. Specialist, specialist, numbers going up, numbers going up. One mass, two mass, fascinated, double the. Ah! <laughs> what happened, man? I mean, I dare say, from my understanding of many of your viewpoints, you also promote like the way of interacting with women. And I go, have you been in a relationship with a woman? No. So how are you telling other people how to behave towards women when you yourself have not had any actual physical, you know, interaction with them in a romantic capacity or, in fact, in any capacity? I, I've never figured out what a critical race theory is, to be totally honest, after a year of talking about it. They're teaching that some races are morally <laughs> superior to others. You need a severe loss. You need a severe lifestyle. You need to get the out of my face and leave me alone because you are all nothing but the lowest form of military that ever existed in ever you need to get out of this and no you don't you dare don't you dare don't you dare don't you dare never once have i paid five dollars for gas and Starbucks been out of Java chips, but thanks Joe Biden for screwing up America. I was craving a Java chip frappuccino. I went to two Starbucks. They told me, oh, we're out of Java chips. I wonder why. Oh, because Joe Biden's supply chain crisis. So I had to settle for this vanilla bean. <laughs> oh, my taste buds didn't even want that. I wanted it tall, dark, and handsome. Oh, I mean, I wanted it tall, dark, and chocolatey. <laughs> we can't get proper amounts of gas in. Gas is through the roof. We can't get Java chips in for Starbucks. Pretty soon, we're going to be out of Gucci and Fendi. Stop this madness. Stop voting for... Government is what takes all of your money and gives you very little in return. That is not true. Okay, that, that's yeah. kind of, I mean, it's kind of true. It depends that's on the kind of government. That's what taxes are for. Yeah, that, that is what taxes are for, but but taxes are thefts, children. Taxes are the government takes a part of the money that you spend or the money that you earn or the yeah. property and value of your house. spend it on useless stuff. What about debt? Mostly, yes. I mean, they're supposed to spend it on things like the police. They're not supposed to spend it on just random projects or silly things that they have in their head, and they tend to spend it on kind of silly things very often. But as you get older, you will realize how, how little you like taxes. Yeah, he's way off base about that. I come from a, a state called California, oh, where like where California. where monsters roam the streets and garbage is strewn everywhere. I think that Biden kind of makes up the rules as he goes. 
I don't think, unfortunately, he cares very much about the rules for being president. I think he just tries to do whatever he can do. Senator Joe Manchin from West Virginia is my current favorite Democrat. He's preventing Joe Biden from doing a lot of bad things. So guys, you just learn more than you will in all of college about how the government yeah. works.